My name is Josh Moshe. I'm, I'm not a Moorhead resident, but I do represent an organization that works throughout the metro area. I'm a board president for the Pride Collective and Community Center, which is an organization that works with the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community here in Fargo Moorhead. Uh, recently, as of Tuesday night, the Moorhead Human Rights Commission uh, voted in support of passing on to the City Council to create an ordinance to create a domestic partner registry here in the City of Moorhead, which is within the legal capacity of the city. We, uh, as on behalf of the LGBT community from Moorhead, uh, we would like to know where, where you stand in support of that domestic partner registry, and for the mayoral candidates, if it comes to a tie, uh, where you would stand, looking most likely that that vote is going to happen with the new seats. Uh, early I think this is an issue that um, um, is a generational one. I see it. Uh, I just went to a meeting at First Lutheran Church this week to discuss the Constitution, um, and we are seeing a generational divide uh, between my generation and the generation ahead of me. I have the honor to teach at MSUM with um, a bunch of students who don't see an issue here. Um, personally, I don't see an issue as long as we're not just focusing on same-sex couples, but we also are able to uh, respect long-term um, heterosexual relationships as well. Um, I would vote in favor of it as long as we were not discriminatory towards one group. I feel uh, with my generation, this is kind of um, we're kind of the pushing things um, as far as pride and stuff like that goes to the forefront, and, uh, and I think it's really healthy to see that happen. And uh, keep it short and sweet as I would uh, agree with that. Been on the news the other day, and was it a um, request for the human resources staff to develop more information on it? Was that the resolution? There Just was, a clarification. There were two actions. The first was okay. to create an ordinance, and the second was to have more human resources department to look at their current policies to adjust as well. Okay. Further information, further study. I would be open to seeing what what they come up with, what 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 policies are in place already. Um, the, the issue is new to me, so um, I would certainly be open to seeing what information uh, comes forward out of that and, and what policies we have in place and, and where the unmet need is. And we support the domestic partnership. We plead uh, pretty much ignorance on this uh, issue uh, since it just uh, started percolating this week uh, with our Human Rights Commission. I, at this point, am fairly ignorant on exactly what the parameters and what's going to be uh, exactly put into an ordinance and uh, how it's going to work. What I would need right now is a lot of information. I'm guessing once it uh, gets forwarded from the Human Rights Commission to the City Council, what we will see is it going to staff for review, among other things. We have to see costs. We have to also see uh, how it affects our six union contracts. And we have to uh, uh, weigh things uh, as we uh, move forward. It uh, sounds like a simple question. In my mind, I see a lot of complexities that have to be answered in my mind. Again, for me, this it. is a, a very new issue. I, I wasn't aware that uh, there was a process of the ordinance going forward. Again, I want to look at see what does that ordinance cover. I, in terms of as a human resource, there you have to look at things. There shouldn't be discrimination. I know there's a, a great fact that, to be honest, is my being naive. For a long time, I could tell you a story that I didn't know what domestic partner was. Then I had to fill out on my insurance forms that who is your domestic, or I forgot, domestic partner, and I was calling our insurance, our human resource person, what do I put there? So again, as there, again with that, and to be honest, I am naive, and I don't know all the issues behind it, so it wouldn't be fair for me to say yes or no at this time until we really see what, and I get the education behind that. And again, it goes back to what I said with all the other stuff when it comes to race or gender, is education. And I really need to be educated, so I'm looking I do it. have to plead ignorance. I, I'm not familiar with the issue, but I would definitely want to read up and study up on it, and I would definitely keep an open mind. Based on my limited familiarity with the uh, ordinance language, uh, on the surface of it, I am uh, I'm quite supportive of it. I, I think that people in any, any kind of a committed long-term relationship ought to have be able to take care of their loved one um, with uh, their, through their employer's insurance as same kind of opportunities that I have with my spouse. I'm in support of it as far as I but, um, know. My, my, base, uh, my fundamental question is why did government get all mixed up in uh, people's freedom of association to begin with? Um, I, I don't, so I, I, I'd like to look at it more closely. Um, 
but I'm, I'm not sure why we have to go to the government to ask to live with somebody. 